Shalom. Let this say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shari, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings the hope of members of the elect. This is just a quick lesson in regards to um the so called Maranos, um, you know, or Moors, um, you know, who a lot some of them adopted Islam and a lot of our people they also product they also um continued in their faith you know of being of the uh household of uh or um the house of judah you know the uh, southern kingdom you know um you know when we're in power and um some of our people they um you know they were uh you know they were into the whole the whole Catholicism or Christianity, you know, and basically, um, you know, um, you know, the Crusaders, you know, if you were not a Christian or a Catholic, you know, like they would persecute the Jews, you know, our people and um, basically as well as, um, you know, during the so-called Mohammedan um, time, you know that's when um that whole roman catholic or that whole um islam was uh adopted you know was uh set up by uh you know the vatican you know to drive out those ishmaelites out of the land um it's very vast um this is just a quick uh page off of the that book the golden age of the moor written by ivan sergema the Golden Age of the Moor, uh, James Bronco and uh, Raniko Rashid, according to the Al Bakari, there was among the Sanabar Berber Black, it's a profession Judaism, right? Which uh, we weren't ism because uh, you know because the whole Judaism, ism was be basically to pertain in like to be a Jew. Right, because ultimately, you Edomites, you know, we civilized you guys, you know, and when you read about the whole barbarian slave trade, you know, like that was what's going on because Edomite was in, uh, Edomite was in a low state, you know, and, uh, you know, there was a whole slave trade of uh, Edomites and um, there was a whole war with the Crusades too, right? So, um, you know, cause our, a lot of our people were fighting for power, and a lot of our people were, you know, siding with, uh, you know, the Ishmaelites, you know, the Persians, and you know, so there was many great wars during that time, and there's still a lot of our people still practicing Islam, because that whole Islam, Islamic uh, thing was set up, you know, by uh, the Jews, you know, when you read about. Um, like the mass, like when you read about like the like the Medina Jews or the Medina Constitution, you know, was set up by uh, the Jews. Um, so the Sandra Bar, it says, uh, it said the buffer and it's a practicing Judaism before they were overcame and observed by the Amarivs. Um, says the Sandra known as the Maltham people of the Vale were uh, were responsible for the second significant Moorish in invasion of the Al Andalus, the Arabic name for the Islamic Spain in uh, 18 by 1095 AD the Sanjabar Berber initiated the Amarib dynasty could I uh, read about that but uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, put this I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play this and um, we're gonna build um, hopefully this is gonna be a short lesson um, let's go where the Raka Kodash is gonna lead Muslim to turn up, turn up this lock, yeah. 
Jewish Moors, Christian Moors, and some that practice a comedic African faith. Hold on. One second. Moor does not mean Muslim. My tells me that there were Moors who were Christians. There were Moors who were Kemites or followed the comedic legacy. It is important that, yes, a very important facet of the Moors that went into Europe post 710 AD happened to practice the Islamic faith. But not all Moors are Muslims. You could be a Moor and not have any faith system that you followed particularly at all. The word Moor is a medieval term that became Negro after the enslavement of the Moors. Many people believe that Moor also means Muslim, but the truth is there were many different types of Moors. There were Muslim Moors, there were Jewish Moors, Christian Moors, and some that practiced a comedic African faith. Moor does not yeah, mean... So basically, um, you know, even a lot of people who came to the Americas, you know, uh, because the ten tribes was already here. When you read Second Ezra's uh, thirteen forty, all the way down, you know, because um, the northern tribes, after their Syrian captivity, a lot of them they came to the New World, which you put, you know, um, when you put on the map, when you go on Google, you put Asterif, you know, they're gonna show you uh, Newfoundland, you know, so that whole region, you know, the whole south america central america the caribbean north america you know you know that's where our people were inhabited you know because uh, we know you know during the time uh, of solomon we had the phoenicians right which was uh, being the hamites who were uh, navigators men of the sea you know and they would um during that time during the days of uh, king david and uh, king solomon you know they were uh you know, like they were, uh, you know, the Hamites were uh, men of the sea, right? Uh, like the Phoenicians, right? Um, the Tyree, right? And um, they were uh, very uh, knowledgeable of the seas. So they would get a lot of the, um, you know, the, um, you know, the wood, you know, the different elements and all that. Um, you know, I'm kind of running short on time, so I'm going to make it kind of brief. Well, this is an also a good book, um, Nature No No Color Line, written by uh, Rudolph Ar no, not Rudolph Arwinder, written by, um, what's the man's name? J.A. Rogers, which uh, he's a Benjamite. It's a very good book. Nature Knows No Color Line. What, what says and interesting the graduation of all shades down to the blacks is inhabited by the jews especially the dark where the jews of spain and portugal the portuguese were very dark says prosher did the dutch df d i can't pronounce the aberrant wife of napoleon ambassador door to portugal said the jews the negroes and the portugal could be seen in a single person right because we had uh you know prior to us uh basically uh falling you know we had a great power right because uh you know when you read about prince henry the navigator and stuff a lot of our people they they came to the americas you know on voyages and um as well as uh, a lot of our people were involved in the slave trade and still you know um you know our people involved in that you know throughout africa you know through the world i want to um build on it um let me get a scripture this is deuteronomy making my uh this thing load, it's lock here. This thing taking so long to load, it's lock here.
Deuteronomy 32 and 5. But Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat. Thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he, fors then he forsook Yahweh, which made him, and li lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. Right. So, you know, I'm um, that Jeshurun means upright one. Right? You know, 